Hello everybody, I'm Dragon Princess and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that I have definitely been putting off for the longest of time um, and that is trying to get my creativity together. I know that I did NaNoWriMo 2019 um, and 2020 Nano didn't go that well for me at all. Um, it was dreadful. So today I thought that I might go through some creative well-being um, prompts that NaNoWriMo um, had on the website NaNoWriMo. Um, it was in their discussion forms and stuff. So I collected all of their um, creative things of creative well-being, creative challenges, um, things that they put up while lockdown was happening. Um, and there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. So there were the creative well-being stuff um, in the lockdowns and then they had camp care packages for um, April Nano, April, yeah, Camp Nano in April. Um, and then they also had a lot of um, writing challenges just in general. So basically, I thought that I would go through some, um, starting with the creative well being. And um, I haven't looked at these in a while. Um, but I thought that I would just get up a new Word document and just try and do some writing because oof. <laughs> writing has not been going very well for me and I am struggling. Um, at the moment I have this weird kind of problem where I have a few ideas for stories and stuff um, so I've been like thinking about them and like plotting them out and yada yada. Um, but I haven't actually been wanting to write them. <laughs> that's, that's my problem. I haven't been wanting to write them, but yet I have all these ideas and stuff. And so it gets to the point where I'm plotting them out so much where I get the general gist of what is happening. Um, and what is going on and what I want the character arcs to be and all that sort of stuff and then I just don't write it because I know it all um, so I don't know I don't know how to fix that <laughs> so this is going to be my attempt to do that um, I had done something like this in the start of last year where I was just trying to write down as many like Things. I was just trying to get something on the page. I was really struggling with that. So, let's have a go. So, we are going to start all the way back in April. The first well-being, creative, creative well-being one. So, the first creative well-being prompt that NaNoWriMo had up on their forums put up on the 3rd of April and that is your character wakes up in an empty world right about their first 24 hours. So I because I kind of want to go through these I think I'm going to set a 15 minute timer on my phone and try to get the most out of just writing. I am going to put create a prompt into my Word document that I've got and then start writing. Okay, so this is my setup at the moment. You get a great look at the puppies, um, but basically I'm going to start the 15 minute timer and off we go. Oh, 
Cool. Okay, so it kind of makes sense. Um, there is a lot so in there is a lot of backspacing happening and a lot of not knowing what to do and kind of just dragging out the sentence. Um, in those 15 minutes, I got 500, 550 words. I'm not going to read it here because it is real awful. Um, but I kind of struggled coming up with that one. Um, there, as I said, there were a lot of backspacing and pretty much, I pretty much what I did was I set, um, I basically put myself in the story as, um, as like where I live now, but like without any people in it, which is actually like fairly typical. I live in like a quiet neighborhood, so we don't see much, many people anyway. So I kind of thought that was a good idea to go off of, of like, oh, well, if you live in a quiet neighborhood, you won't notice it as quickly. Um, but I normally don't do that. Um, I normally try and make these writing prompts quite whimsical and quite um, more leaning, trying to push it in the more fantasy-esque way. Um, this I just went very, hey, what would it be like if I woke up in my backyard and found that there were no people? Which uh, it wouldn't, it would take me a while because um, <laughs> we live in a quiet neighborhood. I don't know, it was, it was okay. Um, I definitely think that 15 minutes is way too long for me. Um, I don't know, I might, I might do a few and then I might even do multiple of these. So I'll, I'll leave it on 15 minutes. 15 minutes is a good time, but I definitely struggled to kind of get the ball rolling and to figure out what the hell I wanted to do. So. That was the first writing prompt. Let's go on to the second one. So, um, I so I haven't actually looked. I just want this is a side note. I haven't actually looked through these creative well-being clips, uh, like photos and stuff. So I definitely want to focus on the ones that are writing specific. Um, there are ones in here. So like the April sixth one is explore a new creative outlet, write a poem, sketch a flower, sing along to YouTube karaoke, allow yourself to be a beginner. So I don't want to put those ones in this video, I definitely want to focus on more of the actual like writing and the writing prompts. So that is kind of what I want to do. Alright, so the next writing prompt that we get from the creative well-being um, was posted on the 8th of April. And that is, insert your character into your favourite book, TV show, or movie and see how they react. So, <laughs> um, at the moment I don't really have a character um, that is like distinguishable enough um, for me to like write as them, I guess. Um, or I could use one of my older ones, I guess, yeah. Um, okay, so, hmm, favorite book, TV show, or movie? That'll be an interesting one. So I think I'm going to give myself some time to think about this one, um, and then I will get back to you with the timer and stuff. Um, I will say, I have noticed that like instantly these two, I know it's just two, but these two have definitely been kind of things where it's like, oh, just kind of a pop into existence thing and see what happens. Kind of S props. <laughs> anyway. Yay! 
Yay! <laughs> okay, so camera went flat, so I am um, just putting it on here for a second. So basically, uh, that didn't go too bad. Um, so that time in that 15 minute sprint, I got 543 words. So that seems to be my <laughs> about, um, 550 seems to be about my average today, my roundabout kind of number. Um, this was kind of easier than the first one because um, I chose a character that I had written before. It was the one of the main characters in my um, in my novel that I wrote in the start of 2019, um, which I had uh, that one's up to the second draft, I think. Um, so I basically put her and I put her in an, a different extreme world. So I kind of made it easy for myself by picking extremes. So she lives in the city and so I chose Outlander as my TV series slash book, whatever, um, to put her in that. So putting her in, so like basically the extreme. So there's no little space, or there's none to little space in her city. Um, it's built very tall, there's minimal land, um, and it's like surrounded by forest and all that stuff. And I'm basically putting her in the extreme where it's like big fields and just open, open world. Um, and so I thought that was quite, I don't know whether I would call it easy. Um, I still like had to think about, oh, what's she gonna come across? What's she gonna do and all, what's she gonna think and all of that stuff. But it made it a little bit easier um, giving her the extreme because then I could um, make comparisons to that and it was also easier picking a character that I had already written about and had like finished her story so it was quite easy to put um, put her in that sort of scenario where I knew her and stuff so there you go so uh, I think I'm going to do ooh, one more and then yeah I think that'll be a good place to leave this so I will I will read you this and then um... alright so the next writing prompt that we have is op uh, and this was posted on the 17th of April so kind of jumping a little bit um, so this one is open a book to a random page and look at the first word on the page then write a story based on that word okay so basically there's um hmm I don't know what book I'm gonna choose I think I might just pick a random book in my house okay so I've actually come down to my family study where my family bookshelf it's all this and I'm going to pick a random book. I think I'm going to pick... Hmm, I don't know what to pick. I'm just going to pick random. This one. Eh. Oh, it's a, it's a huge book. <laughs> Tom Clancy's Some of All Fears. Alright. Okay, so this is my book. This is Tom Clancy's Some of All Fears. I'm going to flip to a random page. First word is Elliot. <laughs> um, the sentence is Elliot shook her head. I guess we have to write a short story with a character called Elliot. Alright, here we are. One final time. And I am going to put on my 15 minute timer and go Oh, 
Okay, so that was 15 minutes and not surprisingly, I actually did really well on that one and I wrote a lot more um, because I did force it into the, well not force it, but I did twist it into the fantasy not of this world kind of writings. Um, and so that made it so much easier to just write and write about, you know, um, Elliot, this woman, in this fantasy setting. I got uh, 632 words on that one, which is significantly um, a lot. And I am pretty happy with that. Yeah. And I just took it in a way that I thought it would, and you know, I found that um, all right. Um, it definitely like pushed me to get my creative cogs going and try and put something down on paper, or you know, try and type something up that could be potentially used in a story or something. Um, but just to try and get myself into the flow of working and. Um, writing some words. So there you go, that has been Creative Wellbeing Prompts. If you would like to see more, I have plenty more and um, that I can write as well as, what are these ones? These are creative, yeah, creative challenges and um, creative wellbeing writing prompts and stuff like that. Um, let me know if you would like to see more of the creative um, well-being writing prompts slash writing exercises or if you would like to see more of the uh, non-writing ones from me um, so there were a few such as write in a different genre um, write down your fears um, of like failing um, what else is there? There was one that was like, uh, go outside and write, look at five things to write about and take like those or something. So if you want to see me do those, please let me know um, and that would be great. So, um, please leave a like if you did like it and yes, let me know if you want to see more. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it. So thank you all so much for watching this video and remember I'm the Dragon Princess. See you all later. Bye!